Hi, good morning. It was really great to speak this morning as we continued our series on First Things First. Now, if you've been in church for the last few weeks, you'll know that in this series we've been looking at living a generous life in all areas and how when we do that, God blesses us. He blesses our generosity. And we've also looked at how when we prioritize things in our life, when we put the right things first, God not only blesses, but he multiplies those things that are important. And today we looked at why it's so very difficult sometimes to prioritize the right things in our lives, why it's so hard to be obedient in all things, not just some things, when we know that God is going to bless us. What is it that stops us from prioritizing the right things? So if you turn to our scripture today, it comes from Luke chapter 16, if you read it, starting from verse 9, you'll read about something that you may or may not have heard of, and that is the spirit of mammon, breaking the spirit of mammon. And coming out of that scripture, we need to ask ourselves, because Jesus refers to it, what is mammon? Most people's short answer to that would be money. And that's what I would have said until I delved deeper. But it's so much more than that. Mammon is so much more than just money. If you look at where the word comes from, it originated in Babylon from the Tower of Babel, which was a system that grew out of people believing that they could reach heaven in their own power, in their own strength, that they didn't need God to get to heaven, that they could do it on their own energy and work. And that is what the spirit of mammon is in our lives, the belief that if we have riches, we don't need God. It's a spirit that contrasts itself with the spirit of God in our lives. It's an arrogant, prideful, deceitful spirit that tries to replace God in our lives. And Jesus acknowledged that because he said in our scripture, you can't serve us both. You can't serve God and mammon. God and mammon both want to rule in your life, but in such different ways and with very diff different outcomes. And so today, I'd love to encourage you to delve a little bit deeper into the subject. It can be really prickly, but there are a couple of pointers that I'd highlight for you to think about and chat about if you're in a group. Firstly, if you look at your scripture, what do you think Jesus is saying when he says, make friends for yourselves by means of unrighteous mammon? You'll need to think there about what unrighteous mammon is. Secondly, Jesus goes on to say, if then you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will entrust to you the true riches? My question there is, what are true riches? And how does being faithful with unrighteous mammon result in true riches? And the third question, he also says, and if you have not been faithful in that which is another's, who will give you that which is your own? What is Jesus referring to? I really hope that as you wrestle with the subject that God reveals himself to you in a whole new way. So why not spend a few minutes now just allowing God to, to speak, saying sorry at the end of your time with him, sorry for the, the times when he hasn't been first in your life, sorry for the things that you might need to repent of, and accepting his forgiveness, accepting his love, accepting his grace as you put him first in all areas of your life. Thank you.